TikTok star Taylor Rousseau Grigg laid to rest a week after her death at age 25 Taylor's husband, Cameron Grigg, shared photos from her October 11th service on social media Taylor Rousseau Grigg has been laid to rest a week after her death at age 25, on Friday, October 11th, the TikTok star's husband, Cameron Grigg, posted photos, on his Instagram stories from his late wife's emotional send-off, it was beautiful princess, he wrote on one image of Taylor's casket covered in flowers, three doors down song here without you accompanied the slide. Cameron also shared a picture of white roses and baby's breath with a white cowboy hat sitting on top of them, along with an image of Taylor's portrait surrounded by cowboy boots holding flowers. Cameron announced Taylor's October 4th death in an emotional Instagram post. On October 5th, no one ever expects to have to deal with this kind of pain and heartache, especially at our age. This past year Taylor has dealt with more pain and suffering than most people do in a lifetime, he wrote, and in spite of that she still has been such a light and always brought joy to everyone around her. She is the most brave and strong woman I know, and her confidence in the Lord outweighed every other circumstance she's faced, even in her darkest hours, he continued, adding, I know she's saved my life and so many others out there. Today.com reported on October 10th that Taylor died from complications related to asthma and Addison's disease. A source close to Taylor's family confirmed to people that her death was caused by a severe asthma attack and resulting complications. The influencer gave her followers a health update in an August TikTok video, saying she received a forever diagnosis earlier this year. You're seeing me be sick for the whole time that we're married and not finding out what was wrong until this year. I barely found out what was wrong with me. I was struggling that whole time feeling like I was going to die. Taylor said at the time, it just sucks because I'm 24 years old. I should be in my prime. I should be able to carry my suitcase up the stairs. I should be able to walk to the mailbox or run. And those are just things that I can't really do right now, she added. Cameron also shared that a GoFundMe had been set up because we don't have anything financially in order amid Taylor's death. Taylor has been in and out of the hospital since we got married which has affected our financial situation. Therefore we don't have any insurance. He wrote, I love y'all, Taylor loves y'all. Thank you for all the support and kind words during this time.